Hello Yogans! It's been a couple years since I posted a YouTube video, so I'm excited to be back. My name is Amanda Shepard and this is Play Along Practice and today we're going to play along talking about props, how to set up your space for a um, effective, for an effective intelligent home practice. Three things that I love to have on hand almost every day are a blanket, two blocks, and a strap. Uh, I use other things as well. And today we're gonna go over blankets, uh, a couple kinds of straps, different kinds of blocks, and a bolster. Um, okay, so we'll start with the blanket. Use it for support, for warmth, for um, uh, different ways of um, propping the body in meditation and in restorative poses. Blankets are super important. And sometimes in Shavasana, you just wanna lay it on top of you for uh, just to stay warm. What you're looking for in your yoga blanket, and it doesn't have to be this kind of blanket, but one thing that you want is something that's gonna fold flat, meaning it's not going to have um, a raised edge when you fold the edges together, right? So these fringy ones that go nice and flat, there's no extra like um, fabric in the sewing here are really, really good. These particular ones, I'm sure I got this on Amazon. I've had it for, God, at least 10 years, maybe even 16. Um, uh, available on anywhere, and you can even find them at swap meets. Um, they should be under $20 and often under 15. So not too pricey. Um, they open up pretty big, okay? I'm gonna show you what I mean when they fold flat. So end to end. And at the crease, nothing's gonna be higher than the other. And fold it again, right? And then fold it again. And one of my favorite things to use is just to sit down, right? So you notice as I'm sitting here, my hip points are higher than my inner knees. I'm gonna go for a long sit or a long meditation. I definitely want to reverse that. I want the hip points higher than the inner knee. So I'm gonna sit and lift my sits bones, sitting on the blanket, nice and tall. You can sit for a long time. Okay, um, moving on, we're gonna to go to blocks. If I were opening a studio, brick and mortar studio, and I was going to kit it out with props, which Hopefully the studios you're using do you have. Um, I would go with these. These are the Manduka recycled foam. They're fantastic because they are grippy and strong and not um, and not too hard, right? So your hands aren't going to slip. They're wide enough even on their four inch side that they're still going to support you. They're not going to wobble around. So for example, if you're using this for Ardha Chandrasana, right? And you need to support your hand, you can support it safely, right? Sometimes blocks that are thinner are going to wobble around or blocks that have kind of um, cut out edges, same thing, right? You want these to be able to support you. Um, the other thing I like about these, if you're using them to train like for canes or something, grip them on any side and they're not going to get too slippy even if your hands are sweaty right so they are by far my favorite blocks um these two particular ones live in my client bag that i take to people's houses so often when you're practicing with me and play along practice um I'll have these ones out. And I do love these blocks. I use them probably the, the most in my home practice because I keep them underneath the bookshelf. Um, but if I'm gonna use them to try and train the core and inversions, right, for handstands or something, they can get slippy because they're wood and they can be a little hard. It doesn't really bother me, but the foam is definitely softer. This is definitely a nicer, material to have. So those are Manduka. Um, and if you're only gonna buy one strap, I'm gonna go with the classic cotton 
D-ring, metal D-ring cotton strap. You can put this in your washing machine. It's totally fine, line dry. You can buy these anywhere. I probably got this at like Yoga Outlet or something like that. Um, they're also not expensive. Um, and you can use these to extend your arms, right? Make your arms and legs longer. You can use these as a shoulder opening for flossing. Um, and you can use these to kind of help you bind, right? To reach around to the other side. Like say, you wanna find your foot in a lotus and you can't find it. You can use a strap and that will help you or twist, any kind of twist. It's really useful for that. This one is great. Uh, comes in different sizes, six feet, nine feet. Um, so you can have it adjusted even if you're very tall uh, or shorter. This one can do it all. So it's a really nice strap if you're only gonna buy one. Um, if you're practicing a little bit longer and you like to be a little bit more specialized, I like these infinity straps. Um, this is my go-to. It's This is the stagnant one. It doesn't stretch uh, and you can use it for like overhead grip, right? foot would go in here and then the arms reach over and this is the same kind of thing it's a stretchy one these do come in other sizes um this is small but they're small medium large and maybe even uh i do have one that's pretty extra large um so those are the straps i like and then another thing that's nice to have in your toolkit is um a bolster. This bolster is by a company called Sun Moon Originals. Um, I've had it 16 years at least. It is really nice. You can take the top off and throw that in the wash. And in fact, you can also take this off and throw it in the wash. It's super sturdy. It has never lost sturdiness in all the years I've had it. Wonderful for restorative poses and just really nice to rest on. Sometimes people can use this instead of a Santosha pillow. Right, you can sit on the edge. And yeah, really nice to have around. So now that we've gone over some props, I'm gonna show you how they can help you. All right, I'm gonna put the straps away for now. I'm gonna use one block, one bolster, place the, sorry, I have to get my back. I'm going to place the block underneath the bolster so it's going to be like a ramp, right? Low back is at the bottom of the bolster. And then I'm going to take my blanket. I'm going to make a little bit bigger rectangle, one bigger, and roll it up like a taco or a cannoli. Place it around my feet, bring the edges together, bring through for a nice supported Supta Baddha Konasana. The soles of the feet together, knees out to the side, and this is gonna support my knees. Lay back here, this feels so awesome. Right in here. Those are some ways to give yourself some props. Namaste, Yogan. Hope to see you. Please come back every Thursday.